Hi, I'm Rob, and this is 3 Minutes Ethical Business. 3 Minutes Ethical Business. This episode, I'm joined by Polly Hickling, course leader of the Media Technology Programme at Soman University, Southampton. I started by asking Polly about what graduates are looking for from employers beyond the paycheck. So, so pay is important, but it's by no means the only factor. Generally, our graduates are looking for a company that is supportive. Supportive in the sense that it offers health and well-being benefits. It's a, a nice and pleasant place to work. It's a, it's a happy working environment that's taken their employees into consideration. And so is there anything else more specific to media tech students? Some will want to do a job that involves a lot of travel. Most of our graduating students are around the age of 21. So they'll, they'll want to take the opportunity at that age to, to go for a job where they get to travel the world. How about corporate social responsibility? I understand you took a quick survey of students. So the majority of students um, will look favourably on a company that shows themselves to be engaged with with charities, with charity work, or it has an ethical business approach. However, the the importance of that when entering the world of employment did vary uh, across the students and the feedback, and that tended to be depending on how much exposure they'd had to corporate social responsibility models. Do students are bounce graduate even consider CSR for potential employers? So the feedback I got varied from one student who said they, they didn't even know what that was and they had to Google it to one student who said that they would actively avoid companies that had a bit of a bad track record for their corporate social responsibility. It seems that for all students who are supposed to be politically active, there may be a bit of a gulf here. Or is this an opportunity? I think it's something that we should probably explore a little bit more, uh, a little bit less subtly, as it's obviously not something that everybody in the student body is, is aware of. And it's something that is quite important. This is Three Minutes Ethical Business. We know that f- from the last election that a lot of students were quite politically active. And I think that's a good thing. I think that is something that should be encouraged. But this kind of showed me that even though that that's the case, it doesn't necessarily necessarily mean that that everybody is aware of the kind of responsibilities that companies have. Ongoing personal development is clearly vital to those about to leave university. Are there any particular things in this area that graduates are looking for, or is it much more general? Students quite often favour a company that offers a graduate scheme. And this tends to be because it usually quite clearly lays out what that role is going to entail over around a couple of years. So the key thing is opportunities to learn and develop their knowledge further, usually through some kind of quite structured or specific training, perhaps uh, through further certifications, but quite importantly, with some kind of recognition of what they've done. And from experience of seeing graduates go off, it tends to be the companies that offer these quite clear and structured training and development opportunities and quite visible progression through the company that keep the graduates for the longest. Companies that are hard to progress through or that you reach your limit quite quickly those kind of tend to be the ones that that people don't stay at for too long and I think it's important that companies are are thinking about the development of the people they're taking in as well definitely food for thought perhaps there really is an opportunity here to improve the understanding of CSR within graduates influencing the future of business thank you Polly for your time it's great to have such insight from those preparing the next generation of workers 3MEB join me next episode when I speak to Tony Lake of Production Life about sustainability and his drive towards ISO accreditation this is 3 Minutes Ethical Business 3MEB is produced by RJN Creative